I don't like my stepdad, so here's how I got him arrested twice. Okay so time I parked my Ford Escape in the driveway on my stepfather's side cause my mother had said she was almost home and not to park on her side. Well I forgot to move my car back over once she got home and my stepfather took offense to this. Instead of asking me to move my car like a rational human being he decides to ram his Dodge Ram into my Escape and force it out of the way. Unfortunately the bars I had on the front looked like this did far more damage to his truck than expected. So I hear the racket and go to see what was causing the noise only to find my SUV at the end of the driveway and him staring at the back end of his truck. He then turns to me and says that as soon as he gets back from his errand I had better have the money to fix the damage. Well as soon as he left I called the cops and reported a hit and run. Gave them the license plate number and his description. I then called the insurance company and told them the same story. Gave them the license plate blade blah, blah, blah. So fast forward about an hour and a half. My mom gets a call from my stepdad at the police station saying he needs to be picked up. We have a huge screaming match as soon as he gets home which ended in him taking my car keys from me and claiming he was going to sell my SUV, to which I reply that the vehicle is in my name so he can't do crap. Oh BTW there was next to no damage to my vehicle from the impact. I'm just glad that he didn't have his trailer hitch on. Next morning surprise surprise my SUV is gone, so I confront my stepdad about it. He looks me straight in the eye and says I told you I was going to sell the piece of crap and that is exactly what I did. So while he was still glaring at me I pulled out my trusty phone and called the cops again this time to report a stolen vehicle. As soon as I told the cops his name, he took off running, his truck was still in impound. This time I go to the police station with my mother. When the cops ask if I want to press charges I just told them if he gives me my SUV back then no but if he refuses then yes, yes I would like to press charges. Turns out he sold it to his brother E. He stashed it at his place until I paid for his truck, cause the insurance company refused. Needless to say my mother and he were not married much longer after that.